Welcome back fellow Horror Night fans and Universal fans alike. Welcome back to another episode of Halloween Horror World, where Halloween Horror Nights 2016 is in full swing for both Orlando and Hollywood. And I couldn't be more happy. Can't wait. I'm counting down the days when I get to fly out in October 9th. It's only about a week. And then first day is October 13th. I'll be making a whole vi uh, update video very soon about m details on the plans uh, for my visit and what days I'm going and all that cool stuff and what I'll be doing for the videos in regards to that while I'm out there. So that'll be a whole different video. But in the last video, I did say I'd be talking about Orlando. Um, now, with my last video, it was an anticipation list of what I can't wait to go through and see at Halloween Horror Nights Hollywood because I'll be attending the Hollywood event. Now, I can't do both this year, which really sucks because Orlando has some cool stuff. But thanks to you guys, as well as uh, people like Tim Tracker, uh, Inside the Magic, taking video of the Orlando event, I get to live kind of vicariously through them. So what I'm going to be talking about is not really a list of some of the stuff I like, but it's more just a straight out, like, I wouldn't say rant, but a talk. So sorry, it's kind of a disorganized thing. Um, anything I leave out is, don't worry, it's nothing I hate or anything like that. Far from it, because Orlando's fantastic this year as well. It looks great. Um, though there are things that I really love that I just want to talk about. So, without further ado, let's go into my not list, but kind of a list, uh, Orlando video. So, let's start. So let's jump with Scare Zones. Let's start with the Scare Zones, because there's a, a number of them that I really like the look of. I like the design, I like the music. Um, so number one of the ones I would lo love to see in person, and then probably one of the creepiest, I think, from what I've seen. I mean, again, it's kind of gauging of what, uh, what you're seeing through a computer, through what you're experiencing, but from what kind of gave me the chills while watching it was uh, Dead Man's Wharf. Um, I'm a big fan of John Carpenter's The Fog, and in the past, Orlando has done it as a maze uh, with The Forsaken. Now, they've done it in a kind of a fusion of the two, almost, with, um, with uh, Dead Man's Wolf, uh, where they've got uh, undead uh, fishermen kind of spreading out through with hooks um, and these really cool designs that look like the corpses have been underwater for quite a while and they've got the cool um, semi semi sized ship which which is a very interesting kind of tape with fog coming out um, but I think the music also works right it's very classic horror music uh, kind of going back to like the 1940s uh, so it really adds to this vibe of just the design of some of the creatures well I say the creatures the corpses I guess it's the same thing um, but as they're stalking uh, guests as they go through. And with the fog, it kind of like, makes it a lot better. I say fog, and just kind of tying in all those little homages to John Carpenter there. But um, it definitely one that gave me chills. Now, another one that looked really cool. Uh, again, we can't really gauge the fear factor if I'm not there in person. But the one that kind of looked really cool and kind of tipped my love of mythology was Lair of the Banshees. And definitely some interesting designs. One of my favorites was the still actor uh, with kind of the phantom kind of design, more of a classic banshee or wraith uh, from Irish mythology. And it, you can't see anything. It's just basically a classic white cloak, but it's on stilts, so it's huge. But some of the creature designs for the uh, banshees themselves is quite disturbing and slightly chilling. And the kind of setup uh, looks <laughs> looks fantastic. You kind of immerse it. The only thing I don't understand is why they're playing the Last of the Mohicans soundtrack. I don't, I don't know how those two go together. Apparently, they do. Kind of throws you out a little bit. That's the only thing. That's the only tidbit I'd say. Kind of throws me off with the whole scare zone. But other than that, it's fantastic. I, I really like the idea of it. It's kind of a, a change of pace from kind of the go-to cliches and horror. And uh, definitely a, one of my favorites. The other one that's kind of got my interest is um, Vamp 55, which seems to be a lot of people's favorites. Definitely a kind of cool, um, I wouldn't say scary, scare zone, more of a, uh, I wouldn't, and I wouldn't go so far as to say comedy, but more just a laid back scare zone. 
Um, definitely a very interesting one with greaser vampires, <laughs> with the with kind of the, the the school football team and the prom queen and and all that, and it just it just looks like a very interesting scare zone. Um, so moving on to mazes, uh, mazes are a huge factor with horror nights, as obviously, but some of the ones are definitely interesting, and some are shared with Hollywood. Uh, I won't be really talking about those because everyone knows. Krampus is definitely one of my favorites. Now, I've seen videos for both Hollywood and Kramp, uh, and the one in Orlando, uh, two different, completely different mazes. Um, I'm, I might do a compare and contrast later uh, once the event's probably over and once I've done the reviews, it might be fun to do a uh, compare and contrast. So I won't really be talking anything that's shared with Hollywood, but definitely some original mazes have really kind of piqued my interest. Now, I'm still waiting to see uh, maze footage of them, but the one I really want to see is uh, Tomb of the Ancients. Uh, again, going back to mythology, and uh, I used I used to study paleontology when I was in college, and so it's kind of piqued my interest to see what it's like, kind of combining the whole mummy aspect with gods, and it just seems like a really cool uh, maze, and I've heard good things about it. Uh, so. Yeah, definitely. I think that one, if I was to go to Orlando, would definitely be one that piques my interest the most. Um, we've got uh, Blood. Um, sorry, uh, Ghost Town, Lightning Gulch, The Curse of Lightning Gulch. Uh, definitely an interesting. Definitely heard that. It, well, saying definitely quite a bit. Sound like Valley Girl. Bleh. But uh, <laughs> uh, Lightning Gulch, definitely an interesting one. Um, very interesting twist on Western genre. Knots is crying in the corner there because they're like, they stole my, stole our whole Western feel. Damn you, Universal. Damn you. But yeah, it's, it's a really cool aspect. I love that. I love the fact that they're undead, ghostly uh, cowboys coming back to uh, curse the living and kill them and. Uh, kind of push you through this whole ghost town aspect. I've uh, been to places like Calico, which is a real life ghost town. If you've ever been, it's really cool. And you kind of imagine that, but with more undead ghostly cowboys, which I know is... <laughs> which I think is a really cool idea. You don't really see the whole western aspect brought into horror quite that often, so it's kind of a cool, um, cool factor to put into a maze. Uh, and I'd love to see a walkthrough of it in proper. I've seen the, the whole lights on tour of it and the sets look great. Um, it kind of reminds me of the Forsaken a little bit um, when they did the lights on tour for that. But uh, that's why I love Orlando because they like to go really creative with some original IPs and uh, like things like that, like the Forsaken, like this, and especially using historical settings. Uh, I think, yeah, that's it. That, that's the key to my love for it. <laughs> Any Orlando maze is historical settings. We found my weakness. <laughs> Thank you, Orlando. But um, yeah, there's a lot that's cool. Chance, I'd love to see uh, the mate, the actual walkthrough. And it's in 3D, and I've heard it's in Chroma 3D, which is a lot more high depth. And I'd be interested to see a walkthrough for that. But uh, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, I'm sure later on, kind of mid see that they might get permission to shoot a lot of... Sl I know they, last year they had selective shots of the mazes, and I'm hoping that Tomb of the Ancients gets one, um, as well as uh, Lightning Gulch. I keep wanting to say Blood Gulch, damn you. It's red versus blue, from my reference. But, um, yeah, things like that, I, I can't wait to see. So I'm really, like jealous of you guys going to Orlando because you've got some really cool stuff going on there and I'm psyched for Hollywood so those are just some of the things I really like about um, that piqued my interest for the Orlando event uh, definitely ones that I really enjoyed seeing videos of or or seeing walkthroughs through the scare zones I hope you guys have enjoyed this video um, I know it's a bit random, unlike the anticipation list, which was a bit more planned, uh, everything written down because I'm going to that event. So it's a bit more uh, of everything like I knew what I was going to say about this with Orlando uh, because I'm not going to the event. It's kind of just off the top of my head everything I really like thus far that I've seen from Orlando. So I do apologize if it was a bit random, sporadic, and long. So sorry about that. <laughs> but uh, if you guys are going to the event or you've been, uh, let me know what you guys think. I'm kind of curious to kind of gauge people's reactions to this year. Um, definitely a different uh, mixed crowd. Like 
Uh, but I've heard nothing but good things. Um, uh, so I'm, I'll be interested to see what you guys think. Let me know in the comments below. And if you like these videos, please feel free to like and subscribe. Uh, again, my update video will be coming out shortly after this. It'll be everything that I will be doing for my trip. Uh, what Essentially, video, what videos I'll be doing. Uh, filming, uh, what things I'll be filming for Horror Nights this year, for the Hollywood event, and um, just general trip plans, what days of Horror Nights I'm going, that sort of thing. So, hope you guys look forward to that. And for more information, feel free to follow Horror Night Updaters on our Facebook uh, webpage and our YouTube channel. Uh, all those descriptions will be blue in the description, which I did that backwards. Reverse. Reverse that. But, uh, yeah, so feel free to check those out. And until the next time, guys, this is Crazy Englishman signing out.